Now at 6, three students from Sen High School on Chicago's north side are shot. One has died. This morning, how police and Mayor Johnson are responding. If you take Metro, big changes went into effect today. What riders need to know before the morning commute. And a blistering Capitol Hill hearing senators accuse tech giants of failing to keep kids safe online. Mark Zuckerberg even giving an emotional apology to grieving parents. And as we look live outside, Tracy says, ooh, we are flirting with 50 today. It is Thursday, February 1st. Live from Chicago, ABC 7 Eyewitness News at 6 starts right now. <laughs> like flirting yeah. at 50. I know. Right. What? I'm about to write that down. Yeah. Right? I think that's the name right. of your birthday party. I think so. Flirting with, with 50. 50. Right. Hope oh, 50 flirts Lord. back. We'll see how okay. Right. I mean, right. looking at Val, it is. Mm. Well, <laughs> cut it out. Good morning. It is a new start to the month. Hey, happy Black History Month. It's here. Oh. Yep, we've arrived. Uh, Roz is watching traffic this morning. First, though, want to get to Tracy the with the four. Forecasting this good news in the weather, Tracy. Oh my gosh, it's really great news, honestly. Other than. And from Chicago, ABC 7 Eyewitness News at 6 continues. At least three people are dead. Nine others were injured after a building collapsed at the Boise, Idaho airport. Investigators say the collapse included a large crane that was placing materials onto the steel frame building. The structure was going to be an airplane hangar, but was still under construction. The cause remains unknown. The Chicago City Council has passed a controversial resolution calling for a ceasefire in the Israel-Hamas war. The vote ends a months-long debate, and it was a contentious meeting ahead of that vote. During a speech by Deborah from Chicago ABC 7 eyewitness news at 6 continues by the hour now at 6 30 Metro rolls out its new fare structure today all the work that's been done to help avoid some inconvenience in these early days of change more calls to protect rideshare drivers in the Chicago area increasing reports of violence have a coalition demanding city lawmakers to pass an ordinance first a live look outside Tracy says it's gonna be a pretty decent day out there we're gonna go ahead and say great <laughs> yeah. when you compare it to some of the weather we've had over the last several weeks Tracy yeah at least we can see the city skyline this morning I mean we weren't able to say that for a while with all the fog. But one issue that we had, and I noticed many car windshields when I was driving in this morning were kind of frosty. And that has lent itself to some issues. 33 right now, McHenry, 31 in Yorkville, 34 in Crown Point, 36 degrees right now in Oak Lawn. Some wind chills are back in the low to mid 20s this morning. Now we are starting off the day with Pose hey. on ABC7Chicago.com or wherever you stream. All right. And we'll see uh, what time that show starts. <laughs> or what time no. you're going to get there. That's, That'll be tomorrow's that's conversation. conversation. Exactly. Yeah, because hopefully people people it doesn't to happen tomorrow. And people will be leaving the concert. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that crazy? Right? Um, hey, it's National Dark Chocolate Day today. The perfect balance of sweet and savory. Enjoy some dark chocolate. Now, what do I do with Thursday. that? Because yesterday was hot chocolate, hot chocolate and I was like sitting next to me. Yeah. <laughs> my life. <laughs> <laughs> Thou oh shall provide. GMA coming up next. We're streaming in two minutes. We'll see you soon. My dry